All right, I'm just out here in the garage putting this uh, valve cover gasket back on. Now, I used to use silicone gasket goop for this, but I bought the actual gasket for $3.90. There's the part number. Um, I, he ordered two of these, and he thought I wanted two. And I'm like, no, 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 I just want one. And he's like, okay, I guess I'll put the other one in stock. So to put this on, I'm going to cut it out of the package first. It's simple. Now I got that cut open. Getting it out of the package is the trickiest part. Stupid packages. Shut up, lights work. Freaking lights are making ticking noises. Friggin' light. Okay, here we go. Got it out of the package. Now it goes on. Okay, it goes on just like that, I guess. Let's see. Yep. I mean, there's nothing to put these on, but, I mean, I thought... I might as well make a video because I haven't had many lately. Take a second, I have to put down and do this. Two, two hands to friggin' put this thing on. Okay, I got, I got it on. I'm just putting, just starting the bolts, and I'll show you guys uh, what I'm doing next. It's really simple. I'm not, I mean, I'm not making an instructional video to teach some noob how to put this on. Just making a video for some shatter. Um, tomorrow I gotta go work. I'm gonna be taking my wheel horse with my trailer and my leaf blower. Believe it or not leaf blower during this time of year is crazy but I got to blow insulation out of the rafters for a guy and I mean I get paid 10 bucks an hour so why not plus like fuel and shit like that but I mean I might as well I need the money for Christmas gifts to give to my family because right now I am almost broke I have about 200 bucks left and trust me 200 bucks and me don't last long I like to buy stuff. Okay, just take these bolts up. Um, I did some plowing today, y'all, and and have had some fun. Um, if I'm I plow my driveway, and when I'm done, I can, we move the trailer back, so I don't have enough room to turn around. So instead of turning around, all I do is a slide. I just stomp on the brakes, and I go sliding sideways. So, I mean. Yeah, it's worth it, but uh, I've just noticed that third gear has been grinding a lot. Like, when I'm holding the clutch down, the belt is completely stopped. You put it in gear, and it starts to grind and pop in gear. So I've been holding it and letting go of the clutch slowly, and it clicks in. So I'm thinking my gear is almost done. I don't mind ripping one of those trannies apart. I'd like to see what's inside them, but it's just the parts probably are expensive. I am going to sell this motor. I'm not sure how much I'm going to sell it for, but um, I was thinking, what do you think? Like maybe 300 bucks, because these are brand new or 500. So if I can get 300 bucks with brand new rings, rebuilt almost, I'm making pretty good money because I traded some crap I had laying around for it. And when I got it, it wasn't even all together. It's just kind of you know like all the parts were there except for. Every part was here except for the, that fancy air cover that has the oil in it and the two bolts that held the magneto on. They were all like missing. I didn't mind though. I, I work at a place. Guy gave me this. I put it on. Tighten that up. Actually, I want to take that off and pour some oil in it. I pour. I pour just generally whatever I have around. Um, I have. 
I had some transmission fluid. I would have poured that in there because, I mean, it's just oil and it's going to go to waste anyways. Pop up here in this crate. Ooh, that's a breeze. Man, you can feel the breeze coming in right here. That's not good. Making my garage all cold again. Yeah, I'll just use this 10W30 here. Come on. Pennzoil, 10W30. They had it on sale for a couple days. I went and bought a jug. I mean, you can't go wrong with this stuff. All you want to do is fill these cells up. That should be good. Don't want to waste oil. I mean, it's only a bit, but I'm cheap. Um, some guy gave me a Honda motor. I'll make another video on that. It's a Honda motor off of a... Uh, I keep saying I think it's off a th ATC or an ATV because the motor is really weird. And my friend says, oh, that's probably off a dirt bike, so... I will show you guys that in another vid. It's got a big transfer case on it, but there's no way to start it. It looks like it's electric start, but it doesn't look like that at all. Um, and there's no gear changer peg or kickstart peg. So I'm just like wondering, you know, what could it be? Okay, there we go. I would start it, but I'm indoors and I got the heater on. Oh yeah. I was going to stay home tomorrow because of my dad, but I got to go to school probably for at least a couple periods, and then I'll come back home, probably do some more filming. This heater, you just got to adjust it. You don't want the blue flame on the top. If you got the blue flame on the top, that means you're killing yourself. Um, yeah, I think I'll take a couple more picks because I've done a lot of work to this motor. Lots of work. Besides it being a little bit dirty, it should sell for a good buck. Okay, I'm going to take a couple pictures and uh, go in because it's freezing out.